what is up guys how are you doing welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how do you set up your team after returning after quite a while to the game as you can see i've returned to the game after quite a while and top 11 i don't know for what reason within just three to four seasons has um, discarded all of my previous players who were pretty good and <clears throat> should have lasted seasons upon seasons and should have been here even though they should have been of lower quality let's say 50 60 70 percent but they should have been at least over here top 11 somehow decided to sell my players and replace them with other players anyways so i've gone ahead and bought like a couple of new players like this one over here and this one over here so in this video i'm going to be showing you how do you set up your team after you return to the game and specifically how do you set up your bench ideally um, whatever formation you play so the thing is what you want to be doing is that in top 11 you can have 28 players at maximum at a time out of which 11 players play your first player first team players and you can have seven players on the bench and you can have 10 other players that are reserves so ideally what you want to be doing is that you want to be having a full team except for the goalkeeper similar to your first playing team all those positions and you want them to be in the reserves as far as the bench is concerned for bench you want to be having all the players seven players covering all the positions so let's say that in case which which the case is like this my team was like this so the defense line if it can be covered by all all by a single player who can play in multiple positions like this one dldc and dr i want him on the bench over here so in case that something happens in the match i can simply swap this for any of these players and also just taking one bench in the substitutions same is the case with the middle center and the dmcs and the emcs try having multiple position players in those positions as well and same is the case with sts now another thing that i want you guys to know is that you want to be having quite young players on the bench as much as possible so i've returned and all of my players are suddenly 30 years above or 27 at least but i come and bought a few uh, young good players but anyways as you can see over here i have 20 years old is the lowest i have this guy is 20 years old but try having uh, using your youth academy to the maximum and having all those four players over there and try having them at the start of the season season and try putting them into your substitution bench the reason i say this is because literally use those players in first team matches and give them some experience for the first team before including them into the first team this will give you an idea already for which players are good for example if during the half time a substitute a player uh, he's a young player hypothetically and he you you will see if he is a goal scorer you will see the difference if he is a good player or not you and also on substitution you will see that if a player is going faster than other players he will be under your continuous watch and you will notice if there's a different player out of all the batch you will see if a player is a good player he's good at assisting he's good at um scoring and you will see if he's good at playmaking if he's scoring faster than other players so you want to be having young players on your substitutions bench as much as possible you want to be having reserves similar to your first team so that in case anyone gets injured or anyone gets um, booked so you can replace that player from your reserves not affecting your formation that is how you you can stay with your favorite formation also on the bench what you want to be doing is that you want to be covering all the positions so if you do not have a lot of choke tokens you can go ahead to the transfer market and buy out some uh, 30 years old players and start building up your team by those then you can simply use youth transfers youth academy to your maximum and then you can uh, simply one by one swap those players and upgrading these substitution players to first team as soon as some of the players start showing potential so that is how you set up your team after returning if you want me to make a video 
on how do you apply players and what's what and what's not of the transfer market what should you want to be doing and what should you not want to be doing i'll make sure to subscribe and comment down below until next time peace out